fighting flesh out of my limbs. And most of you don't even care. Right, then you pour a little bit. Let's get rubber guys up there. Right, this is quite important now for you two. At no point you shake the ladder. Okay. If I get nervous, I've got a really weak bladder and I might wee. I'm joking, you probably don't shake it. Shake it and I'll pull off so far. Lean back towards me a little bit. Towards me, more, more, more. Perfect. Pull towards me. Emily, keep it forward, hand of the knives. That's it, nice and safe, blade first. <laughs> Second one. You get last one off the floor for me, from over there. That one there. Thank you. Thank you for helping. I never know, they might clap again. <laughs> Count of three, these two gentlemen are going to run away. Got really quiet, please. I'm going to have a short bit by myself doing something that took me ten years of my life to learn. Whatever you do though, please don't run away yet. Because if you do, basically, I will fall off. I'm going to fall a little bit forward. Right there, perfect. Quick enough, I'm going to make this quick. Um, there's a reason why I'm standing here today about to risk my life for your entertainment. And that reason is, this might be a surprise for a lot of you, but this is actually my job. This is what I do for a living. For a year now, I left my full-time job in a shop, to buy to the streets, and start doing what I love. I'm not here, I'm not in Chester, or somewhere down south. I'm not on the streets working. I'm basically home seven days a week, practicing and bringing really useless talents to entertain people. That's it. Thank you. I'm very proud of my new guys. Um, I hope it's something exciting in a minute. Um, the reason I'm telling you this, um, the thing is, nobody actually pays street performers to be here. Oh. Oh. The York Council don't pay us to be here. Oh. The Arts Council don't pay us to be here. Oh. Everyone say, it's okay. It's okay. Everyone together, it's okay. It's okay. Because we're going to pay. It's okay. <laughs> I said it. We're going to pay. Works is, I'm not going to come around and hassle people. Um, I'm just going to stand on the step at the end, hold my hat, and accept in donations. And all of a sudden, you'll be even more confused than before. And that might be something to do with how much to give, but don't worry, I can help. <laughs> right, the other donation, when it's really quiet like this, is £20 each. Wow. I'm joking, right? I do know from the show camera and a fiver for a family or a couple, that's expensive. We're about to see when these guys leave. It's something that took me years of my life to learn. Can't afford that, I really do think, for the finale, one or two pounds is a bargain for what you're going to see. If you have any money, really important, there's not many people here, please don't leave. Mum and say thank you or something, it does mean the world to me. But if any of you now try and walk away without at least saying thank you, I will follow you for the rest of the day. Thank you. Laugh that when it happens, it's really weird. <laughs> so, uh, another thing as well, not too rude, please don't come forward at the end and give me a handful of copper coins. Uh, I'm not begging on the street corner, I'm very proud of what I do. If you don't have any money, come over and say thank you, shake my hand or something. I really appreciate it. But three, you yeah. two are going to run. There's two no, really important things to be for him. Just carefully.